what is going on youtube so this is actually something that i wanted to make for a long time i actually had an older video on it which i'm going to produce because it has some good information in it that i was talking about but i kind of want to do another one a more of an updated version so you can see in the background you got celine on my left and samus on my right what if house mark made another other m what if they made a metroid game so I don't want to let that that good background show for a little bit. It's pretty awesome. I'll put that together. Don't sue me, Nintendo. But um, so this is some gameplay for other M. Now, in my opinion, please like and sub. In my opinion, what killed this game was the story. I think the combat and the way the game played was well, but it was the storyline that destroyed this game. On top of the replayability, it didn't offer that enough. It didn't offer once you beat the game it didn't offer you pretty much nothing to go back to um you could collect everything in the first playthrough you were only held back by nothing to be honest with you so in the storyline she had all of her abilities she just wouldn't use them unless this atom commander told her to the most dumbest thing ever um as we know or people who play metroid you know for those who haven't never played a metroid game before samus is pretty much a loner a strong uh fighter on her own and she doesn't talk too much she doesn't really need anybody and she goes on in these adventures on her own to these lost planets so just you know it was already kind of sketchy giving her like a whole command fleet that she works with however in metroid prime 3 which i'm gonna put images up as i talk about this in Metro Prime 3, she did have a team, and that was pretty cool. But in this one, it was handled poorly, um, as we're going to see here. And it's kind of whack, so I'm just going ahead and skip up and just trying to get to some of the gameplay. Um, he has a love interest. Oh, my goodness. It's just... <laughs> oh, this is how I feel about it right here, y'all. <laughs> so... In the game, she can get attacked by different stuff, as you can see here. With the rear remote, you can um, move it to first person by flicking the rear remote and then aiming with the missiles, which is really cool. She had an auto aim feature. It was, it had everything that you would want from a Metroid game. Now, it was made by Team Ninja. Um, those are the people who made Ninja Gaiden. Okay, so the way she would move, the way she would jump, the way she would, you could charge her arm cannon up and jump on enemies and like blast them in the face and stuff. That was all from um, Ninja Gaiden. Um, and Ninja Gaiden was a very hard game. And I, I, for its time, I think it was revolutionary. So they handled this project. So I think if they was to combine this type of gameplay, right, with House Marquis's way of, or the way that they did Returnal, I think we could have our hands on one of the greatest Metroids of all time. So this is this. Let's come over to some of my gameplay. So I have a lot of videos, shameless plug, a lot of videos on Returnal. Um, I actually love Returnal. Um, and I was playing it one day and a friend came over and he was watching play. He was like, man, this really reminds me of Metroid. I'm like, yeah, she basically has everything. And this ain't taking nothing away from this game, by the way. But she has basically has everything Samus has except for the double jump. Like you need a, you get different equips and power ups to go into water. There's doors opening up different stuff. There's different weapons and stuff that she can get. It's like, wow. If I want to know how much influence that maybe the Metroid franchise had on it. Now, you know, one thing I was shocked about when I first played Returnal, um, beyond the difficulty because it is a very hard game. <laughs> now I will say, this game just got released on PC. So anybody who picked this up, just stick with it. Get good and stick with it. It is, once you pass the third biome dome and you come to this world right here, because I don't want to spoil it. Once you get to this world right here, it's not a cakewalk, but your skills are just, you're there and you can just blast through everything. Like the only way you would die is if you're getting hit too much at that point. But um, I know that might that might sound ridiculous to some people. Like you're going to get hit, but it's like, eh, not if you, not really. <laughs> But, um, yeah, when, when you look at the way they did this game, it's just going on the water right here. Um, it would just be perfect. So 
Returnal is put together in different pieces and different chunks. It's not necessarily procedurally made. Um, it's procedurally put together. And <clears throat> there was a part in Metroid Prime 3 where you would go to this ship, okay? And you had to keep coming back to it. But every time you went there, um, it was like different things that would open up. But you needed more abilities to open up different parts of the ship. I'm saying that to say this. I think if they was to make one, the way it should be handled is you go into your basic worlds, right? That Metroid offers, but you will go into a Pacific world that is procedurally put together like Returnal is, but you need the abilities to make it through that world. I just want to throw that out there. So, you know, uh, man, if this could happen, that'd be pretty awesome to me. I mean, they could literally just put Samus in a returnal world and you know it'll it'll fit you know I mean it had aliens she can scan stuff you could figure out different things that was going on with the world you had to kind of think about how things is working on their own she was there before it's like wow like if they was to actually do one I think it'd be great now I think House Mark is owned by Sony um I mean and this is just wishful thinking I'm just thinking but I know they're owned by Sony, so it'd probably be like a headache to get them to do it, maybe. <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. Money talks, right? Um, but it'd be a cool collaboration, I personally think. But yeah, what y'all think? Uh, how do y'all feel about the Metroid franchise? Did you play the remaster, which uh, is really, really good, by the way? Um, have you played Returnal? What do you think of Returnal? And, and what do y'all think if the two games was to mesh together? How do you think the project will work? Or what other games would you like to see that is um that um that you would like to see two developers work on to create one cool project that are similar, but if they got together, it'd be even different. But yeah, that's uh my rant. Um I'm gonna put the old video up here and um yeah, I just want to just want to talk about that. It'd be cool to see a third person back again. But I'm gonna put some images up here as I'm talking too. There was a third person Metroid before this. Um, I mean, back before Metroid Prime, it was actually Metroid Prime that was in third person. The funny thing is, is that Shakira Miyamoto, one of the heads at Nintendo, told them to put it in first person. And at the time, Retro was like, how are we going to put in first person with these controls and everything else? How is it going to work? But it turns out to be one of the greatest games of all time. So check that out. There's some videos on the original Metroid 2. It looks terrible, <laughs> to be honest with you. But yeah, there actually was a good third person Metroid coming. But as I said in my old video, could somebody please mod the Samus suit into the PC version of Returnal? <laughs> I will pay somebody to do that. <laughs> but anyway, again, check out my gameplay on Returnal. If you want to get better at the game, hit me up. Um, I'm not an expert, but I could destroy the game. I might do a playthrough of me just playing it on PC from start and see if I can do it from the very start and complete the whole game, which I'm pretty confident that I can. <laughs> Peace.